Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. Do you guys remember a particular video clip that's been going around the internet for a while? I'm gonna play it right here as I'm speaking. That's right, the all famous World Economic Forum, you'll own nothing and be happy. This video came out a few years ago and since then, they have produced numerous, numerous videos. Videos like this, uh, where it's just a slideshow and countless videos of interviews and uh, different speeches. If you go to their YouTube channel, you can find hundreds and hundreds of videos that they post, um, all talking about their plan for the Great Reset. The Great Reset is something that we've talked about uh, quite a bit on this channel, but we haven't talked about it in a while. And I think some people have kind of forgotten about it. You know, that's how Americans are. If it's not in our face at all times, we forget about it very quickly. And today, I want to let you know, the Great Reset has not gone in a way. They haven't forgotten about it. It hasn't been shelved or it just didn't work out. In fact, it's just the opposite. The Great Reset is in full force. It is happening. It's happening currently right now in the United States and in many other nations across the planet. And it's something that we have to be aware of. Uh, we have to be aware of these things that pop up, whether it's local ordinances and state laws and federal policies and international agreements, uh, because so much of it is all leading us toward uh, and through this great reset and agenda 2030. I know. Some of you are going to be saying, oh goodness, here we are, another crazy conspiracy theory video. You can call it what you want, but they're very open and very bluntly saying what they're doing. Um, the NATO summit that was uh, just last week held had Agenda 2030 stuff plastered all over the place. Everything that was talked about there was pretty much in line with Agenda 2030 and the Great Reset, which really are kind of one and the same thing. They're just different ways of selling uh, this global unification and global takeover of your rights. And it's something that we have to be aware of. Uh, and I wanted to bring it back and talk about it again because there are things happening currently uh, that even though you may not like, may not agree with it, you may not be quite aware that it is part of the Great Reset. Um, to get this started, I want to remind you that um, John Kerry, who is Joe Biden's like envoy to you know, global climate change summits and all this kind of stuff, um, he stated, and here's an article from National Review, but he stated, uh, when asked uh, if Joe Biden was going to be, you know, ready to push the Great Reset, uh, and that's what he was asked by the the president of the World Economic Forum. He was asked, you know, is is Joe Biden ready once he takes office? And this was after the election, but before the inauguration, um, is he going to be ready for this? And John Kerry's response said, "Well, people are going to be surprised." because it, the, 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 the speed and intensity that we will push this through, the speed and intensity, those were John Kerry's words. Um, and we are seeing that play out. Uh, you know, certain bills like HR1, which I don't know that I've even talked about it much here on the channel, but HR1, which is where they want to basically nationalize elections. Oh, it's being sold as a, you know, so that so, so that minorities and and people that just aren't able to get, you know, voter IDs and different states that want to pass these laws that could could restrict, you know, uh, minorities from being able to vote, which is a bunch of hogwash. Uh, they <clears throat> this HR one is to nationalize our election system, which is absolutely, completely, one hundred percent unconstitutional. Uh, it goes against everything our founders envisioned for this nation. It completely uh, breaks apart the whole checks and balance systems of our elections. Now, are our elections perfect? <laughs> Certainly not. We've seen that in this, this past year, that the elections are far, far from perfect. Um, but if states are allowed to, uh, I think that, you know, they can probably 
is somehow kind of fix their problems. But if it's brought to a national level where the, the federal government controls uh, the elections, I assure you, uh, free and uh, clear elections will, will cease to exist after that. Uh, they, they will no longer exist in this country and on, on every level. And that's something that they're wanting to push. Another thing that Joe Biden and his administration is wanting to push, and this isn't just a beat up on Joe Biden video. I get, I get a lot of people like, oh, you're bringing too much politics in it and all this. No, no, this isn't just a beating up on Joe Biden video. Although he has very openly um, accepted uh, the Great Reset and has pledged to, to pursue the agenda of the Great Reset and Agenda 2030. But another thing that he's pushing is this... Um, uh, this uh, single family housing. They want to do away with single family housing, okay? And you, you know, a lot of you are like, oh, come on, this is, this is just ridiculous. It's a big deal. And this is one of the core values, the core principles of the Great Reset. Uh, the video that I showed you in the beginning, you know, you'll own nothing and be happy. Uh, they produce a lot, of, a, a lot of information, a lot of video, a lot of literature on this idea of doing away with private property ownership. Um, they want uh, the economy to be a stakeholder economy, um, which is not capitalism at all. It's not a free market in any way. And they want it to where you don't own anything. Uh, they have videos about that it's, you can, in the future, you'll be able to rent everything. If you want a tool, if you want an appliance, if you want furniture, if you need something to, to do this, if you need to travel somewhere in a car, you rent it. You rent everything because no one will own anything. Um, just recently, uh, there was some articles floating around uh, talking about how America needs to go to being a rental uh, nation that we need to stop focusing so much on home ownership, and that's one of the really key principles, uh, in a way, uh, with America that you could come here, you could be anybody, you could be the lowest of lowest societies, and come to America and work hard and actually own something, you know. And this this may not seem like a big deal to you and I, but this really is a big deal on an international level because many nations. Uh, it's still like it was maybe during the feudal times where, where low-class uh, citizens, commoners, can't really own things. And that's what they want to go back to. They want to go back to very much a feudal system to where the elites, uh, the, the men that rule the world, the multi-billion and trillionaires, they own everything. And you just rent from them, where there's these landlords. That's really what that stakeholder economy is about. And so they're pushing this idea that Americans should get away from home ownership. We shouldn't seek that. We shouldn't, that shouldn't try, it shouldn't be one of our main goals in life, which is typically uh, one of those things for Americans that they achieve. You know, you achieve, we finally bought a home. That's a big deal for Americans. They want to do away with that. They want to do away with home ownership and, and everyone would be renting. And so one of Biden's uh, big deals right now is to push uh, to get rid of single family housing. They want to rezone areas. And what they want to do is, is if you live in an area that's zoned for re single family housing, uh, or if your town uh, has single family housing zones, if they don't do away with that, they would lose their federal highway funding. Um, and so the push is to, to make where everything is multifamily housing, which is apartments, uh, and to make them all low income or, uh, you know, available for federal funding uh, to, to get the housing. And it's going to completely do away with the American dream. They, they, um, they want to restrict your access to owning property, uh, which is why I push a lot to, to get out of these cities, to get out of the cities and get out in the country. I understand the argument is, is well, they're going to come after you people too out in the country. They might, they might, um, but they're going to have a lot harder time uh, trying to move a bunch of, you know, <laughs> farmers with guns off their property out here in the sticks and the Ozarks or in the Appalachians or, or wherever you're at. Um, if you're out in the country, then they are moving people out of a big city neighborhood. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. But they are really pushing this ending of private property uh, ownership. 
you know, they, we've talked about this before. Of they're wanting to, to do the reduction of red meat and the reduction of animal food consumptions. Uh, they're wanting to push synthetic meat, lab-grown meat, uh, mealworms, bugs, where everyone eats bugs. Uh, this is a. This is all part of control. Their their main agenda. If you listen to Joe Biden, um, if you listen to him at all uh, since he's been president, the two main things that he talks about is environment and equality, racial equality, uh, and not just racial equality, but gender equality. And this is their two big things that they're going to push, and they're using these two issues of the environment and equality to shove through this agenda that they have. They want it to all be fair and equal. They want it to have e everyone to have equal access to health care, equal access to education, equal access to housing. Uh, they want it all to be fair and equal. And while that may sound good to a lot of people, and it's unfortunate that it does because so many Americans nowadays have lost that, that just basic, simple abilities to just think through a situation and think through something. And that cognitive ability is just, well, it's been destroyed with many Americans. But while it may sound really good to get all kinds of free stuff, you and I know that that's not how it works. It may sound good for everyone to be on an equal playing field, that the government restricts everyone and makes it all equal. You and I know that that doesn't work. And you and I know that that is not freedom. That freedom doesn't come when the government restricts the high end and pulls them down and false, falsely takes the low end and brings it up to this level so that everyone is equal. Uh, that is not freedom. And this is the agenda that they're pushing. Uh, this Great Reset is, is definitely in full force here in America, and it's something that we have to be aware of uh, when we see uh, different legislation passed on a state level or on a local level or on a federal level. We need to be aware of what's going on. And I think a lot of people, when they hear about the Great Reset, it's kind of like if you've watched some of my videos when I talk about Grand Solar Minimum. A lot of people think that the grand solar minimum means that there's just going to be some big ice age happening, you know, where, where animals are frozen in their tracks. And because that's not happening, then the grand sol solar minimum must not be happening. In the same way, I think a lot of people, they hear the Great Reset and they think that there must be, you know, going to be some major proclamation that the United States is now radically changed into something new. Some, some new constitution or some new international uh, agreement or pact or treaty that completely and absolutely changes the face of the American society. They think that that's kind of what the Great Reset means, and that's not it at all. It's going to be incremental little changes, changes sold to you saying that, well, this is going to better your life. This is going to create equality. This is going to create better access to health care and better access to employment and better access to housing and better access to, to, you know, all these other things that are just absolutely necessary in our lives. And it's going to help the environment. This is going to help the environment pushing these, uh, uh, these policies on restriction of, of fuel consumption and taxing fuel consumption and, and putting uh, regulations on what type of housing you can have and, and, and how you can uh, bring electricity to your home and that it must be this way and that way and your house must be this way or that way. Uh, this kind of, uh, yes, I, I know, you're, you're watching them, aren't you? Um, these kind of policies are being done little by little. They're being done, like I said, in your city t councils, they're passing these. On the county commissioner's level, uh, on the state level, and they're not all be done, do, they're not all doing it legislatively. Some of the stuff is being passed through commissions, you know, the agricultural commission or uh, the, the environmental commission in your state or something like that, or maybe the highway department or wildlife control or, or whatever it is, you know, the Department of Health. And uh, they're passing these regulations, uh, which in a sense are stripping away, stripping away our freedoms little bit at a time and it's happening everywhere all at once uh, so that you and I set back and we may not be aware of everything that's going on in all these other states or other towns or other counties and we only hear a little bit here and there what's happening on a federal level because the 
you know, the, the, the national media is too obsessed on what's going on with the president's cat or that his dog died or, or you know, that he uh, is eating ice cream or something like that, that they're not reporting on the actual substance of what's going on uh, in this administration. And so because of that, you're not aware of all the things that are actually happening on a daily basis. Um, you know, the stuff that's going on in Oregon. Oregon is, a, is, I think, a really good state as an example because, um, and I'm not saying that they're number one in this. Uh, I'm just saying that they are, are very obviously full throttle, full speed ahead into the Great Reset. And I've spoken with people that's recently moved from Oregon. I've got several friends. It's amazing uh, because Oregon, and let's include Washington State because they're probably uh, on par with some of the, the, the regulations and legislation that's going on. But in the last few months, uh, there's been several people that's moved here uh, from those states uh, that are you know very like-minded, homesteader-minded, and they've seen how those states uh, are completely coming unraveled uh, because of the policies and the increase of crime and the increase of cost of living and the, the overburdening regulations that are happening. And they're getting out. They're getting out of those states, just like people are getting out of the states like California, New York, and places like that uh, because they see what's happening. The rest of America, so many times, we don't see what's happening. We're not aware of it because it's not in our face. And we think that, well, maybe this Great Reset isn't happening quite like they wanted. Maybe it's, it's, it's happening, but not quite at the speed that they want it to happen. Maybe it's not going to affect me quite as much as we thought. Maybe I got too excited and it was all hyped up in the beginning to, and I, and I, I got afraid for over nothing. Because, you know, it just doesn't seem like this Great Reset is really that big of a deal right now. And it doesn't seem like it's, it's really affecting my life that much. I assure you that's not the case. Um, if you do a little digging, uh, if you just kind of open your eyes to the stuff that's going on, every bit of it, every bit of it fits within the uh, Great Reset and Agenda 2030, uh, the, their, their agendas. Um, uh, this, this dividing of, uh, of the people. Uh, that's a huge thing with them, and it always has been, going back all the way to the d days of Marxism, uh, that, that the, the dividing the people and getting them to, to fight against each other and see the division among classes and division among races and division among genders and religions and, and all this kind of stuff, that's a big deal for them, and we're seeing that. Um, and creating just, just angry and, and upset people uh, in fact, this is something that Klaus Schwab, uh, the founder of the World Economic Forum, he even said about a year ago that they expect to see more people angry, that there to be angry people all over the world, angry because they've lost their jobs, angry because the economy's hurting, angry because of the lockdowns, and that we, meaning they, have to have things set up to step in and to deal with that anger. And that's what we're seeing all over. So folks, don't let your guard down when it comes to this great reset. It is absolutely happening. It's happening all over the world. Uh, before I wrap this video up, I'd something to, to point out. Uh, just this past week, the European Union and Canada have both said that they will be implementing vaccine certifications for travel. Yes, you know what that sounds like. I'm not going to use those words here on YouTube, but you know what that sounds like. And you might say, well, that's in Europe and that's in Canada. It may not really affect me here. Uh, know this, that uh, our president, Joe Biden, has pledged basically to do the same things that the European Union and Canada are doing. This whole great reset. He, he's right, completely, fully on board with it. Uh, so will it happen here? It may happen slower because he knows he has to deal with, you know, uh, a little bit more rebellious people. But most assuredly, they will eventually try to implement this. In fact, the DHS has already said that they are looking into ways of implementing some type of certification process for international travel and maybe even in the future domestic travel. Um, so, so don't think that it's a dead deal here in the United States. Don't think that the Great Reset isn't happening or that it wasn't that big a deal or that we got worked up over nothing because it's not nothing. Uh, they are hell-bent on taking away your property, your rights, your beliefs, uh, your individuality, everything. Uh, so, so stay the course, folks. 
and, and keep alert on what's going on and continue to prepare uh, for this. Uh, it, as we can continue to prepare, I do want to mention a company that I work with closely that I think it's a really great product. It's My Patriot Supply. There's a link in the description below. They make excellent freeze-dried food, uh, emergency type foods at stores for 20, 30 year shelf life. Uh, you can go to that link below and you can find some of the products. If you're in the market for that, if not, that's fine. You're not going to hurt my feelings by not clicking on that link. All right, folks, thank you all for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.